Hello and welcome to Project Elderwood. Project Elderwood is a side effects sponsored learning and marketing project that is based around game art workflows taking advantage of Houdini and Unreal. The Elderwood environment focuses on a lot of vegetation and is the kind of environment you might find in a linear single player adventure game. Sometimes people think of handcrafted levels and procedural workflows being diametrically opposed, but it couldn't be further from the truth. In Project Elderwood, we show a variety of workflows that allow artists to have the control they need with powerful modeling and texturing tools found inside of Houdini. Houdini was used to create practically every element of the Project Elderwood environment, ranging from the landscape to the rocks to the ruins, but the particular star of the show on this project is the vegetation. It's a no-brainer to use Houdini to create foliage assets, and there are already several powerful foliage tools that take advantage of Houdini's flexible procedural ways of working, such as the Labs tree tools, Simple tree tools, and the Grove. All of the foliage assets inside of Project Eldwood were created using the early access build of Natsura, which is an in-development plugin for Houdini. Natsura aims to provide a viable alternative to Speedtree for AAA studios and production foliage artists, and in Project Elderwood, all of the trees were created live in engine uh, in full context with their environment using the Houdini engine as a bridge. Along with the files that will be released with Project Elderwood for you to look at, SideFX as usual will be releasing a set of accompanying video tutorial series which dive deep into different aspects of the production. In one part, we'll be looking at how you can generate procedural cliffs and rocks to cover a hand sculpted terrain. The backbone of the cliff modeling tools is a fracturing process, and then we take advantage of a new inflate node that was introduced in Houdini 20.5 as part of the lab's toolkit, which does a lot of the heavy lifting with defining the volumes of the rocks on the terrain. Almost all of the materials of Project Elderwood were created from some scans that I took in a nearby woodland that I processed first in Reality Capture and then took into Copernicus, a new substance designer adjacent tool inside of Houdini that allows you to do tasks like work on materials and textures. So we'll be looking at how we can use the provided bake utility to bake from the raw high poly scan to a plane and then how we can make those textures tile, equalize the colors, perform operations like clone stamping and much more. The direction of Project Elderwood evolved throughout its lifetime, and we ended up with a lot of blocked out architectural assets. We needed to find a way to quickly turn these blockouts into something that wouldn't look too out of place in a high fidelity game environment. So one part of the videos released, we'll be looking at how you can create a tool that will allow you to turn any object into a kind of ruin. In this series, we'll be taking a leaf out of the Cliffs workflow videos as well, looking again at fracturing, as well as looking at how we can add edgeware and then deposition of sediment and mulch onto the edges. In another set of videos, we'll be looking at the Natsura assets that were provided with Project Elderwood, showing how you can use them inside of the project via the Houdini engine, and also looking at how we were able to set up a blueprint that was able to control their inputs and execution. And finally, if you're interested in trying out the full Natsura toolkit inside of Houdini yourself, you can sign up on our website for the early access, which is free for everyone for non-commercial use. I hope that you enjoy the following tutorial series, and if this is your first ever dive into Houdini, good luck and have fun.